Welcome to the satellite a lot. Oh, How are you doing this, Mike? That's Mike, and I'm Tom Servo. That's about all we can say for right now because we are escaping! Shh. Hey, I found the sector fuel tank to help with me. You escaped. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Crow. This is great! I can't breach our contacts at the Swiss border. Gypsy, we don't have contacts at the Swiss border. Ooh. Ah, bad news, Mike. I've gone blind from 40 a thousand Nazi documents. No, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Just leave me in the Alps. Oh, no. You know, all the best of skids have uh, contacts at the Swiss border. We'll be right back. <laughs> what? We're gonna live at Jellystone Park, aren't we, Mike? I wanna go to the Gap and the Great American Hot Dog Experience. I Ooh. would really like to go to Japan and see the turtle called Gabara. Oh, <laughs> don't forget to pack the Kit Kat bars. Oh, uh, you know, you could probably just get him in Earth's gift shop. Hey, 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 hey. Ixnay, are these big? <laughs> Major Nelson, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Okie dokie, Smokey. Well, here's the thing I thought of, Mark. Many is the time that I've been purposely striding through a major department store when suddenly, right in the middle of ladies' lingerie, I'm accosted by the perfume lady. Good afternoon, sir. Can I entice you with a sample of libidinous? <laughs> the next time you're sampled, sample back with my designer line of mace mousse. Mark, just a oh squids of Satan's jocks drafted the trick. And my designer move also comes in Velvet Cudgel, Delirium, and Essence of Detroit. <laughs> oh, uh, Frank, you also get a free sample of our bath gel. Here you go. Thank you. Your bid move. Oh, my God. Listen up, Mad Mads. Yeah. Dig this, Babylon sisters. Yeah. Mike Nelson, Tom Servo, Crow T, Robot, and Gypsy are out of here. <laughs> That's right. We masterminded our own escape. Yeah. Listen up. Nobody owns Mike Nelson. You got that? Nobody. Nobody. All right. Fire up the liquid rock air I believe it's time for us to fly. Yes. 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 Oh. yes. Uh, uh, no. Oh, boy. Huh. Huh. Well. <laughs> so, you see, you guys, uh, our invention then is a little skit based on what would happen if if our escape plan failed. <laughs> oh, Nelson, so close and yet so not. Your movie this week is Teenage Crime Wave. It's a documentary of some sort about the likes of uh, Todd Bridges and Dana Plato. Uh, Frank, you really should layer your mace so it lasts and lasts all day. <laughs> this isn't Lox the liquid oxygen, this is Lox the fish product. Mm. Uh, well, no reason why it shouldn't have worked. Are you sure you're operating that thing right? Yes, I'm operating. <gasps> the Crime wave, a teenage crime wave. <laughs> Twelve angry teens. <laughs> wow, sex and buff them in the same sentence. You foul. Cool. You know, you just leave that gun laying around, some kid's gonna pick it up and start playing with it. Hey, but that's their right. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, Elvis Costello's backup band. <laughs> Oh, and Sears, huh? Straight off the rack. <laughs> mm 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay, this is about the rise of plaque and tooth decay. Plague. Oh. Meanwhile, Darth Vader, in his relentless search for Luke Skywalker and the donated Princess Leia, are found on the ice planet Hoth, where are they are... Excuse me, what? are you done? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, teenage youths, as opposed to the teenage elderly. <laughs> You have to read the whole movie? Brother. Now, they said they were going to make this book into a movie, but this is... <laughs> buy guns. Guns are good. Buy them. Get guns. Buy guns. Hands on treatment. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, but for now, don't pick at it or scratch it. And remember to disinfect your teen every day. And now back to our gun already in progress. Buy guns. Come for the pictures of fish. Stay for the house wine. <laughs> Ooh, Mia's not doing too well, huh? Mmm, Bosco. I'm the guy with the pushed-in face. <laughs> Where should I look? Hey, there she is. No, I'm not Judy Karn. <laughs> Excuse me, are you the only woman in this bar? Mm -hmm. The suit is made of pressed oatmeal. <laughs> Hot dog! <laughs> Any chance you'd want to sleep with a lumpy-faced old guy? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I buy us a Kareva Chablis? <clears throat> Love me? What's on your mind, mister? I just wanted to oh, leer at you. just uh, wondering what a sweet kid like you is doing here all alone with that. Looking for Mr. Blampar. Well, if it's of any interest to you, I was waiting for my date. His enormous face falls. Oh. Looks like he uh, stood you up, huh? Wow, she's smoking a I dowel. I would make you say that. Oh, allow me. He's only an hour late. <laughs> See, I was just at the Stubby K auditions. <laughs> I enjoy <laughs> us. <laughs> Ooh, she's protruding. Wow. Well, there goes an evening. All dressed up and no place to go. Is that Shakespeare, Mike? Right. Must be a mental case. Uh, the guy that stood you up, I made. Mean. Now, uh, if that would have been me, uh, I'd have been here on time. Have you ever seen me on MacGyver? Hmm? Maybe it's fate. What? Huh? Fate, you know, uh, like uh, like something brought us together. Maybe my lack of personal you, uh, boundaries. You believe in it? <laughs> huh. Well, if you do, uh, I got a car up the street, and I know just the right places for a girl like you. The back seat. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Why not? That's the girl. I'll show him he can't stand me up. Of oh, course. Boy, oh boy. Good thing I brought my life savings with me. Yes, sir. Seven yeah. grand in cash and mixed securities. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh. My lucky day. Oh, boy. My car's uh, just up here in the next block. Oh, uh... <laughs> Mind if we drop by my apartment for a minute? It's just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know, it's just like I was saying. I just took one look when you sat down and I said to myself, Freddie boy, this is your kind of girl. Yes, sir, she's money. Can do. Can do. That's the thing, a lot of laughs. Come on, it's a free dental check. Mm. Quit pawing me. Paw, paw, what paw. is this anyway? I thought Terry said you were a real doll. Just because you take me to a movie doesn't mean you own me. Hey, right on, woman. Mother, what a blind date. Feelings mutual. You can tell Terry I don't think much of her friends. Well, we made some real progress in the session. She took this up a live one. Whoa. What are you going to do? Come on, Relax, I told you. Baby. Dinner, movie, and a mugging. To make you real happy. No, oh, you let me out. Shut up and get out. Oh, when's the last time you washed these pants? Hey, where is this place of yours? You're just about there, friend. Hey, what is this? We're her dad. It's my date. Oh, he wants your door, Mr. Standstill. Nobody gets hurt. Why, you dirty little <laughs> trap. This will teach you not to pick up girls. And that's for calling me names. Help! Help! And that's for yelling help. I saw his wand. He's uh, Ew, he's really moist. Uh-oh. Come on, Terry, get going! At this point, it's more of a teenage crime ripple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now everything looks to be in order here. Move along, then. I'll hold them. You go after the others. None of this would have happened if they had just used the club. Uh, who are they? Each other. What are their names? We don't know their names. We never saw them before. What about you? Well, I'm Ayn Rand. Can I help us? I didn't know what they were going to do. You've got to believe me. You didn't know. What is this act? Every word I told the judge was the truth, Mama. Court appointed parents. I didn't know what Terry and those boys were going to do. You were out with those hoodlums. No decent girl would be seen with them. Don't, don't Everything okay in there? You said you were going to the movies. 
didn't say anything about being with boys you didn't even know. You're a slutty gun mom. Dad, all I did was go out on a date. Satan's plaything. I didn't know what I was getting into. Take your time she in came to work and asked me if I wanted to be the nice boy. Nice boy. A thief. Mr. and Mrs. Bridge, read her the riot act. Thinking. I wouldn't have been with him if you hadn't picked an argument with me last night. You've sinned and you'll pay for your crime, Jane. I'll be there front row at your hanging. Daddy, help me, please. I'm afraid you're going down, kitten. Hard. <laughs> you're my family. Aren't you? I don't know how your father will ever face his business friends again. <laughs> well, let's ask him. He's right here. Dad? This is just like dinner at home. All right. I got an A in spelling. You don't care what happens to me. <laughs> I don't either. Jane, what about the rights of that Joey Jane, old man? Jane, Jane Colby. Message from the governor. You're grounded. Dun -dun -dun. Hmm. And here she is, our next prisoner wearing a cashmere sweater, Jane Coverly. One false move, honey, I feel you follow lad, eh? Huh? Okay, now sit down. There we go. I'll just clear the shot Jane here. Jane Coverly. There you go. I don't like to send a girl such as you to industrial school, but I have no choice. You have consistently refused to tell us the names of the men who perpetrated the crime. The fact that you were with men who committed armed robbery makes you an accessory to this crime. And that fact stands as proof of your guilt. I'm turning you over to the juvenile authorities, and for your own interest and welfare, I'm taking you from the custody of your parents. Honey, we did it, You'll yes. be transported to the Rosedale Industrial School, and shopping where you will mall. serve a minimum stay of one year. Then it's off to sunny it's Hawaii! For your or girl, depending upon your record. That's a hard Terry, face. This is your second conviction for so armed robbery. So we're letting you go. It is my duty to turn you over to the juvenile authorities at Rosedale, where mm. you will stay until your 21st birthday. At such time, you will be transferred to the state penitentiary for women mm. to serve a term of five years. Until you are dead. Until you are eligible for parole, oh. depending upon your record. Now, this is a shower room. Let the movie begin. It's to clean you up on the outside, even if it doesn't get to the dirt inside. Robin uh, Williams is Mrs. So Brubaker. <laughs> Stop crying, Annie. That shock didn't hurt that much. So what was the spinal now, tap? We want you to be nice and clean before we turn you over to the industrial school. There, I've said my piece. All right, the three in front. In you go. Let's take it from the top. You're not fully clean. You're not singing. <laughs> Over there, it's DeForest Kelly. Wow! Oh yes, the part I love best. There we go. Susan Hayward in, I want to shower. You might as well snap out of it, kid. You're in for a while and it isn't gonna get any easier. Do you mind if I hang my Snoopy poster? All you've got is a year. Me, I knew I'd had it when I walked into that court. Pretty neat, we got a southern exposure too. Look, kid, I like you. You know that. Mm. You could have given the cops a lot more information than you did. Mm. Don't touch me. Mm. What's the matter? Are you afraid you might catch something? Get this through your head. In jail, nobody's better than anybody else. And you won't have your mother and father to fight for you either. <gasps> that was low. Mm. You're going to learn to listen to me when I talk to I you. I said don't touch me. And if you think anybody fights my battles, try me and see. You little <laughs> crook. Jane, Cavalli taken down by a left hook right there. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't when Gloria Steinem and Helen Gurley Brown compare <laughs> ideologies. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> no, no, I'm allergic to fiber too. <laughs> Let me show you for crying out loud. Here comes the floppy <laughs> arm of the law. I thought you would be the one. Who started this? Uh... Well? Uh... Two of a kind. You guys are icky. I don't want any more trouble, Marsh. We've got ways of cooling you off. And that's where you'd go right now if they weren't taking you out of here tomorrow. And pick up your room. So settle down, ladies. Nuns. Facts of life goes to Alcatraz. Sorry I tried to kill you, baby. Tonight at Juvenile Hall, the immature orchestra from prison. That was a rotten sale. Where to, ladies? <laughs> I'm kidding. You're going to prison. 
Slim Whitman, chauffeur. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but I really blossomed in senior year. I quit wrestling. It won't be long now until we get to Rosedale. Then you just check off whether you want lethal injection in the chair. Place. After you get used to it. You're lucky we're not driving on down the road to that women's prison. It's no country club, believe me. I know. Let's play the quiet game. I never understand how you kids get yourself fouled up with the law. <laughs> Where were your folks, anyway? I think we lock up the wrong people. Well, thank you, Officer Platitude. Who do you like in the game tonight? He's got a real Dick Godier quality to him, doesn't he? <laughs> because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Lucy, I'm coming! Hey, this is a no-caper zone! Hey! Big Wheel Rossi, the motion picture. Jeez, I'm sorry, my insurance company is... Oh, he's got an odd screen. Wow. Oh, and she just whacked out on her Roosevelt. <laughs> well, we better call the industrial school and let them know we'll be late. <laughs> Right, get out of that Should room. I bring my purse? I'll bring my purse. Oh, she's dead on her feet. Well, she's <laughs> had a long day. Ooh. Let me go, please, let me go! Look, I went to a lot of trouble to spring you. Now get out back there. Can I at least put on some flats? Keep an eye on her, too. <laughs> you try to get away again, and you're going to get some lead. Ooh, I've heard lead is bad for you. Hey, an old hot dog. Hmm. Oh, there's a mint stuck to a Kleenex. Ooh. Be careful, those who support those young men. Hmm. A little lipstick make you feel better. A little tote. Hmm. Hey, this is gray. Well, now I'm ready for a crime wave. Here, what's that taste like? Mm. 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 Oh, it's my turn in the front this time. Oh, no. Jeez, that's a load of potatoes. Gotta get this heap out of here. I'll ditch it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, I got car sick in the back seat. Oh, no. Oh. Hmm. Too windy back there for you? No. Oh. Just tell me if it gets too windy, because okay. I like it real windy. Well, the day's taken a real turn, hasn't it? <laughs> A little luck, there won't be an alarm for an hour. We'll be 50 miles away by then. Let me stay here, please, Terry. Mm -hmm. Terry, no. This thing. <laughs> I don't want to keep running the rest of my life for something I didn't do. You're in this, and you stay in. So, uh, how are you kids doing, huh? Car's in a gully over there. They won't find it so easy. Ooh. Oh, he either loves her or he's hungry. <laughs> it hurts to love him. Ouch. Ah, oh, honey. Weird scene. You knew I wasn't going to let them put my baby away, didn't you? I wasn't worried, Mike. But let's get out of here. We rented a mountain cabin so far from the boondocks, they'll never find us. Al's going to bring us some money and clothes and heaters. He'll meet us there just as soon as we phone him. Get moving, big eyes. Okay, fat ass. Well, we made it. 35 minutes away, and this is a big country. Beats being in the pen, doesn't it, baby? Elman, and Louise, and Steve. Let's make a big score and go to Honolulu, huh? Nope, oh, miss third wheel again. <laughs> yeah, we can go any place you want to. As soon as the heat's off a little. I'd be a panic in one of them grass skirts with red flowers in my hair. <laughs> also, we interrupt this program to bring you a news flash. Plot, convenience news. One hour ago, a gunman stopped the sheriff's car, which was delivering two teenage girl criminals to prison. Killed Deputy Sheriff Jeff Manley. Wow. and severely injured police matron Agnes Hardy. The gunman bound and gagged the matron, placed her in the car with the dead deputy, and drove the vehicle into a gully in Antelope Valley near Lancaster. Hmm. Policewoman Hardy was able to give the authorities a complete description of the car and the gunman, who is dangerous and well-armed. For further details, keep tuned to this station. Can we turn our knob to Bob? That's the end of us. The end of you, you keep talking that way. Oh, I knew I should have taken care of that matron. What do we do now? Oh, now we'll never get through to Al. Why we can't get through to him, I have no idea. We'll find a hole and crawl into it. Nah, it's stupid. First thing we gotta do is get off this main highway. And out of this rush hour traffic. <laughs> yeah, and I really should have been homecoming queen, but my name got taken off the ballot at the last minute, and that 
Man, this place is crawling with cows. You want a piece of me, Elsie? Come on. That's where we're going. Uh, uh, well, we just passed the it. Farmhouse we just passed. We're, we're going to turn around, right? Should we turn around? Is that what you call a blasted heath? <laughs> hmm. no, I'll just park it over here. Oh, oh. Maybe I'll park it over here. No, I think over here is a nice place. There we go. All right, come on, get out, get out. Okay, okay. But will you be back to pick us up or not? Or... Here, you stand over here, right there. Uh, here we go. Does this have a parking brake? Whoa, whoa, whoopsie! Oh, oh, no! Oh, wow! Hmm. How are we gonna get away without a car? Do oh, damn stupid dumb dumb! They pick us up in a couple of hours. Leave it to me, baby. What's gonna keep the people in the house from calling the police? I am. Look, look, just move along. I'll do the thinking. Super action hips. Mm -hmm. Wait up, carry me. Thanks for pushing the car in a gully 70 miles from where we wanted to go. What's this mess? Lost Tis Ranchos? What's this munchies? You know, I'd like to get a home out in the country, but they're always so far away. In this movie, the first person to suffer actual physical harm was the big doughy guy. And let's never forget, he lived in an era that would forever be known as the golden age of the doughy guy. Yes, from 1931 until 1959, doughiness was a symbol of success. Proof positive that a man could order 16-ounce porterhouse steaks for lunch and three martinis, tipsy and pink, doughy guys roamed the land freely. The major politicians of that era were all doughy guys. Their weight and moistness were felt everywhere they went. The most powerful man of that era was the ultimate doughy guy, J. Edgar Hoover, who was not afraid to be a doughy gal. During that era, doughy men covered the continent. Statistics proved there was more humidity at the time. Thousand Island dressing was sold by the barrelful pork sausage by the metric ton. Why, we owe our very existence to the fact that our mothers were actually willing to make love to doughy guys. In tribute to our nation's doughy guys, we now present an honor roll of the great doughy guys, past and present. Can that, if you please? Yeah, the doughy guys, doobity doughy guys, the doughy guys. Guys, buttery doughy guys. Doughy guys of the world, we take our belts off to you. Hello, kids. What can I do for you? Have a flat or something? Oh, we're coming in, Pa. Don't give us any trouble. Nobody gets hurt. You don't need a gun to come in here, son. Well, but you have to wipe come your on, shoes. Dog. Come on in. I was just not talking to my wife. <laughs> Can I get you something? I'll see you, young man. Shut up. Please be careful. He'll shoot. Well, he got some extra zagini here, if that's what you're after. Yeah, that's right. You do as you're told. Nobody's going to get hurt. You cross us up. Mm -hmm. The old lady's dead. Oh. Am I getting through to you? I'm thinking I'm it over. Man, son, if you harm my wife, I'll kill you. This is like well, an elderly make straw me harm her, Pop. We'll do anything you say. Tell them we'll do anything they say, Tom. Uh, all right, sir. We'll, we'll do anything you say. How many rooms you got in this place? Uh, just this here and two bedrooms. And, of course, the rumpus room. Anybody else live here with you? No. For, well, Franz That's least, good. but... What about company? You expecting anybody to come here? My son. Mike Tyson. That him? Uh, yes. No, he's actually more three-dimensional. Where's he now? He goes to an agricultural college upstate. <laughs> <laughs> he's Aggie. coming home tomorrow for the Thanksgiving holidays. I hope he's got sense enough not to start any trouble. <laughs> well, let him. That's one thing I can handle. He won't cause any trouble. How long are you planning to stay? No, till we get work. What's the matter, Pop? You getting tired of us already? Mm-hmm. 
We'll let you know how long. Probably just through the high holidays. That depends. Well, if you're planning to spend the holiday, I'll need some help. Mother, no. Mother and I always set a full table. <laughs> Big deal, holiday. Don't you believe in them, child? Well, sure. Every day is going to be Thanksgiving from now on. Well, we'll need a lot of turkeys. I'll help if I may. Thank you. What's your name? Susie Sycophant. Jane. Hey, go on over there and sit down. Okay. You keep them covered while I look around. Right. Sit down, doll. You might as well know we got a murder up against us, so we got nothing to lose. Well, I just put up some peach preserve. She's so crazy, she just might do it. You can use that phone to call the cops. Or you can tip them off to us when they come prowling around. But Mike and I aren't going to be taken alive. I'm stoic. Believe me, that's level. That goes for you too, little flower. You're in this just as deep as we are. Hmm? I saw Mike kill a man. I'll be a witness to it if I ever get the chance. Remember that. Oh, that's right. We should kill you All then. All of a sudden, you got things to say. What makes you think you'll ever get a chance to be a witness? Fascinating, Captain. Anyone for gravy? Go ahead. Make my... Oh, sorry. You'd be doing me a favor. Well, that's different. Try me again. Later. Look. I gotta say, this isn't anything like the time we had the Symbionese Liberation Army over here. I hope he doesn't look at my fine washables. There's a whole nother room There's in there. There's a window in that bedroom where you can watch every approach to the house for a mile. We picked the greatest baby. <laughs> oh, I'm on a total high about that window. Hey. You guys rotate crops? Hey, what's that down there? Storm cellar. We use it for a storage room. There's an East Village coffee house down there. Right down there? Yes, there's a switch on the wall there behind you. Really a mess down there. Sorry about that. You really put up a lot of pickled tomatoes this year. I've smelled enough. Don't! Don't do that! Well, we killed about five seconds. Car pulls up, we have some company. We all go right down there. Take little grandma with us. She's my grandma? And Pop? You can either forget we're there, or you can squeal on us. Be a widower. I can tell you right now, I wouldn't do anything to put my wife in danger, not even to see that you get what's coming to you. Well, then, we're all going to get along just fine and dandy. Or well, there might be some tension oh, at I first. Oh, I'm I'm hungry. Come on, Grandma. You want to help? Go ahead. You're the domestic type. Better get a couple of those fryers out of the icebox, Tom. And plenty of milk. They're just downright in What's the matter, answer? Farmer? It's the country, ain't it? I like milk. He's got a bum stomach. Nerves. And take it easy on the seasoning, too, Grandma. I wouldn't waste seasonings on you thugs. Huh? What's it doing? <laughs> that means something. I know it. That's our ring. Oh. All that's just gonna make a lot of people mighty suspicious. It's a party line, a dozen hicks listening in. That means we can't take a chance on phoning out. No need to call us hicks, son. We may live in the country, but geez, we're. Hey, hey, watch what you say. Ooh. Hello, Tom Grant speaking. Hello, Dad. This is Ben. How's everything? Oh, fine. Good. I, I'm just clearing up here so I can leave for the farm first thing in the morning. Anything special you want me to bring home, Dad? Swat Can't team. think of a thing, son. Well, I just thought I'd check to see if you forgot anything. How's Mom? I'm being held hostage. She's too. fine. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll expect you home about 11.30. All right, son. Goodbye. Help! Uh, ben says hi and don't have fun till he gets here. <laughs> ben. Well, real cool, Dad. You keep that up, the only one who's going to get it in the next, the turkey. <laughs> Don't mock turkeys. Hmm? Lyle Wagner. You got a real nice tablecloth here, Pop. And that ought to get Al out here. What'd you tell him? To get a car and pick us up. Yeah. Here, a couple of haikus. 
Uh, Want to play Scrabble or something after this? Ow, 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 ow. Richly satisfying. Hmm. Pop, your chairs are too hard, you know that? Don't mark my chairs too, You're son. too old-fashioned. I listen to Snoop Doggy Dog. Does that help? You ain't hospitable, Pop. I'm a Midwesterner. What do you want from me? You're going to get a visit from a salesman, you know that? Well, not Herbalife he again. He chicken feet. Only this guy, we don't hide from him. He's invited. I got to hand it to you, Mike, the way you use your head. Here's your paycheck. Hey, little flower. Hmm? Your boyfriend, Al. If he stopped, he's a salesman calling on a customer. <laughs> yeah, how about that, Pop? You want to sit and buy chicken feed? First class stuff, free of charge. You want to unpack that one for well, me, son? He's coming to take us away. That's what you want, ain't it, Pop? Oh. So where do we mail this letter? It's a box set on the road. What does that put in the city? Tomorrow, I suppose. All right, Pop. Come on, mm. keep me company. Well, I think we need some time apart. I get lonesome. I need a lot of company. After you, Pop. I'm not a violent man, but if you take my last stamp, I'll kill you. So long, Sarah. I'll send help. Know much about farm cooking? No, I don't. Well, it's bland and there's we lots of it. We can ourselves, even churn our own butter. In our pants. We live simply. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'll send you an extra copy of the Farmer's Almanac for that. Now, get bent. It wouldn't hurt you any to learn something about a kitchen. What makes you think I couldn't handle it if I wanted to? Well, there's a churn with a hand dasher over there. And plenty of cream if you want to help. Oh, no. You got it wrong. You're working for me. Can I have the day off? Want to know something? Hmm. I used to cook whole meals for families. Ooh. That's right, me, little Terry. No true? higher than that. And they had me washing and cooking and scrubbing all the time. Mm. There's a difference between working for strangers and working in your own home. Mm. What do you mean, strangers? My sisters. Four of them. Each one taking me on for what they could squeeze out of me and passing me on to the next one. Now cry me a river, dear. Look at fairy tales, Cinderella. No kidding. Scullery maid, that's what I was. Where were your parents? Six feet under. Oh, well, they were miners. Accident? No, thanks. Yeah, real accident. They were almost as old as you are when I was born. How's that for breaks? Oh, my God, that's old. So don't give me any of this bunk about the home. I'll sell you my share cheap. Born in the wagon of a traveling anyway, show. Anyway, I'm saving my nail polish for the ball. Mm -hmm. I changed from scullery maid to Cinderella. Okay. And I... midnight ain't never coming. I, I think you lost your allegory. It's off the track. What are you doing to that chicken? Cremating it? Hurry it up. Well, I'm extruding it, if you don't mind. Hey, Mike, you think they'll talk about us on television? Uh, big shots now. I don't get it. Stick with us, little Eva. You'll be able to buy your own butter already made up. No kidding. We'll be rolling in loot. What are you going to do with all the money you didn't get for killing that deputy? You talk too much. I've been wondering, Jane. You weren't really with him, were you? No. I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Why don't you close your yap? Shut your pie hole. It doesn't make any difference. Nobody believes it anyway. I sure don't. I think I do, Jane. Okay, so you believe her. I even stop wondering so much. You wonder about us country folks, we wonder about you city folks. Could I have some pie? What are you selling? You don't need a gun with an old man like me, son. Sure. You don't trust anyone, do you? Am I that transparent? Right, I don't. Let him talk. Go on, Pop. You're really going to set this part of the country on fire? Guaranteed. Just like Jesse James. Famous. Yeah, that's right, Pop. Shh. You're not going to get shot in the back. I feel sorry for you. You want to know something, old man? I'm thinking the same thing about you. Isn't that weird? What have you got on us except age? A milking machine, for one. I've never even lived to be old, Terry. Somewhere, someplace, in some lonely corner, they'll find you out and kill you. Cut it out! Trying to watch the war wagon. Short life, huh? Would you shh, please? A free ride. Take it easy. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna get it. And I'll be right behind you, baby. Where are you gonna be, little Eva? Behind the cow? No, Vassar. Interrupt this program to bring you a special news broadcast. 
The man in your living room is a criminal. A statewide search has been instituted by law enforcement agencies to apprehend two teenage girls and a youth who killed mm -hmm. a deputy today in a successful a break youth? for freedom. Seriously injured, too, was a police matron who was taking the girls uh, to a penal who institution. Who am I? The governor has branded this crime as one of the worst in the state's history of juvenile delinquency. Wow. Juvenile crime, the governor mm -hmm. said, is spreading at a dangerous rate and is rapidly reaching the point where it must be dealt with harshly. Roadblocks have been set up to cover all highways and roads. I can't all believe you lost the remote. Air terminals are I being should checked never have turned into Rosenberg. From leaving the state. This is the killer, Mike Denton. Two prior arrests. He's five feet nine. Weight about 160. Brown eyes. Black hair. Cute. Scar on left cheek. Oh. Take no chances. This man is armed. He's done uh, the post. I think I must have gone to college. This is Terry Marsh, hmm. a second conviction for armed robbery. She is five foot four, weight about 105, blonde hair, blue eyes. Hubba hubba. If armed, this girl is also dangerous. Cut, dig that profile. This is the third member of the convicted of armed robbery and assault. She has black hair. I look so brown fat. Eyes, height five feet two inches, weight about 101. A lot of talent to go to waste in a reform school. All residents of the Antelope Valley are asked to be on the <laughs> Wow, don't see Scott. Whoa. Sugar, anyone? I warned you. Please, Mike, don't do anything to me. Don't worry. It's that thing again. Why? What does it mean? Well, either hit her or I gotta get the phone. <laughs> Go on, Pop. Do like you did before. Okay. <laughs> Your hostage farm family. Congrats, Vicky. Hello, Tom. Thought I'd stop by and pick up that seed catalog. See that gal on TV? What? Wow. Oh, oh, the seed catalog. Well, I'm afraid I misplaced it, Bill. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll help you find it. I'll be right over. Oh, Bill. Uh, I'm too busy helping Sarah to spare the time right now. Anything wrong, Tom? Well, uh, no, it's just Sarah. She hasn't been feeling too good. You're plumbing, you know. So then I'll have to say goodbye now. You didn't tell me you had a seed and catalog, old man. You killed my wife. I told her to keep out of it. You're just a scared little coward with no more courage than a rabbit. Here's my courage. Go on, prove it ain't. Maybe your boy Sergeant will be the hero. Yeah, I like him with medals. And I like him buttery, too. <laughs> oh, that meal hit hard. Take turns sitting in the sack. When I get sleepy, Mike will be right here with one eye on the road and the other on you. So don't be making any plans. Oh, stars, we don't get out much will anymore. Will you hand me the book, child? <laughs> sure, Grandma, what are you reading? The women who run with the wolves. Well, wouldn't you know? I haven't cracked a Bible for a long time. Wow, lots of love, Moses. Well, mm. everything nice and neat, all written down. Married Thomas Paul Grant to Sarah Kelton Wayne. Uh -huh, February yeah, 28th, 1910. That's private. I don't need to. Born son Benjamin David. Mm -hmm. November 29th, 1927. Hey, I didn't know I could read. Say, that makes him over 27. That's kind of old for college, ain't it? Yes. Stupid, huh? Couldn't make it the first time. Uh, well, yes. No, Terry. As a matter of fact, he's there on a scholarship. Hmm. His education was interrupted by the army. They blocked his path to the classroom. You were only a young girl then. I was never very young. Always grown up. I'm younger than My school that was now. also interrupted. Three years in a detention home. So you're trying to fight the whole world. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try reading it? You kidding? Only thing I read are the comics. I need laughs. Deuteronomy's a hoot. Whistler's delinquent. Oh, you were incredible. Wow. Oh, Scooter's chasing rabbits. Mitchell! I heard the secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. You were dreaming, Terry. So what? Everybody dreams. Not the way you do, Terry. I watched you. I entered your mind, child. You even cried. I am the dream oh, warrior. Shut you up. Burn down this joint. Lay off me. You will do battle with Clara on the fourth plane of the dream warrior.
Meanwhile, back at the Bob Evans Sausage Farm, sausage harvest time. Station wagon just pulled into the yard. Must be Ben. Whoa. This is just like Marathon Man. In that come on, come on. Okay, let's go to the bedroom. All right, let's Harry, get into the bedroom. Into the bedroom with us. Into the bedroom. Any chances? Remember, farmer, I got insurance with me. Someone stole my kishka. Hey, hi there. You know, the robots and I are taking advantage of our surplus supply of delicious locks, and we've opened, ta-da, the first deli in space. <laughs> Order up. That's right. We've got sandwiches for every occasion. Just Say it, Joe. Anchoring for a chunk it's of red meat, low in fat, try the Miles of Beef. Mm. Or for the vegetarian, how about the Mr. B Natural diet plate, or perhaps a cup of split pea Zadora soup? Ooh. Oh, you'll flip for the Vince Van Patty melt, mm. or the Sid Tuna Melton with monkey boy fries. Or try the Manos Ham of Fate Reuben with extra zesty secret sauce. Ugh. Oh, my God, our first oh, customer. We're not ready. Calm oh. down, calm down. Sully's, what do you need? Oh, boy, do you guys deliver? Yep. Hey, it's TV's Frank. Oh. I knew we'd call. <laughs> oh, great, great. Let's see. Uh, I'd like the uh, Joe Don Baker baked potato with uh, extra sour cream mm -hmm. and uh, the Merritt Stone wheat crackers and a large glass of milk. Right, okay. Anything else? Yeah, I need something for my boss. What's your worst sandwich? <laughs> oh, uh, well, that'd be the Monte Cristo Markham, deep fried and then forgotten. Great! Can you dip it in the bus tub juice, drop it on the floor, and put some hair inside? <laughs> sure thing. Thanks a lot for calling, Sully. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I need a deflator mouse. Burn the village. Hold the flak jacket and fry the gravy boat. Come Yo, on! the deflator mouse. Fry the gravy boat. Go, pick it up, pick it Come up. Come on, Next. Weeds here. Next. Pick it up, pick number it up, 17, it up. number 17, 17 up. movie oh, side, oh, oh, movie oh, side. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mom, Dad, will you marry me? Well, somebody opened the door. I'm loaded down. You want to get it? I'm holding a gun. Run! I mean, hi. Right, well, door closed, nobody rushed to meet me. Same as always, huh? Welcome home. All right, Dad. What is this, Dad? There have been some changes made. I like them. Where's Mom? I'm Mom now. Your yeah, mother's all right. Oh, that hide in the room thing you worked so Mom. great. She'll be just as long as you behave yourself. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you want? Oh, tell him, Grandma. Don't do anything to make them mad, son, please. Just do as they say. Now I know who they are. I've seen their pictures in the papers. Well, how do you like that? We rake. Yeah, I'll tell you how you rake. You're a bunch of hoodlum. Uh, it sounds like a hero. Better button your lip, Buster. Don't start anything, Ben. They'll only be here a while longer. I only right. see him once a year. Let's be nice. That's good news for the old lady. Uh, think of us as guests, fella, from the fraternity. Yeah, <laughs> Alpha Chi boner. Take the old lady in the bedroom. Make little Junior easier to get along with. Come on, Grandma. Don't worry, Mom. And I think I'll take your car keys just in case. You might want to take the car to a party. Hey, you work out. What's your mix? Thanks, Farmer. Someday I'd like to take you apart. Put your legs where your arms are supposed to be and vice versa. Or I used to have cartilage. Oh! You'd like me to take it out on your old man right now, right before your eyes. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Ow. All right. Shut up and sit down. You didn't say anything. This is just great. I'm not going to get any studying done this Did weekend. Do you bring a newspaper with you? There's one there someplace. Did you read Judge Parker yet? Oh, I love Anna Quinlan. Ah, really playing this up. <laughs> hey, little flower, your picture's in here. Do I look Listen fat? Listen to this. The father of Jane Coberly, one of the escapees, told this reporter that his daughter was an innocent victim of circumstances. He engaged a prominent attorney to re-examine the case. 
Innocent victim of circumstances. I How'd he do? It is believed that the trio may have slipped across the border into Mexico. Olay. Mexico. Olay. The authorities have been lured to apprehend them. How do you like that for a break? I won! I hey, won! Ah, you have less Bonoli? Well, that's where we are, Mexico. Hmm? Well, that's hmm. what it says here. I'm confused. This, uh, this he and his crime. Hey, college boy, what does that mean, he and his? It means you stink. Oh, thanks. But <laughs> hey! Now, where did that come from? That was completely uncalled for. Okie dokie, Mr. Vocabulary. What does pistol whip mean? I made bars. I helped. What happened? Hero looking for action. Go on, Hero. You just keep needling me. This was a Walmart frame. Thing out! Out! This movie is 40 minutes of hard driving, living room action. Well, I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have my charity. Just a pig. Haven't you ever seen a pig so before? I all my goods to feed the poor and all I give my body to be burned. And you sure the postman picked up that letter? He got it, Mike. It's on its way. How do you know? You only saw it from the window. Charity envy is enough. How do you know he isn't pulling a stunt? Relax, Mike. Does not behave itself. Could you read to yourself? It's not easily provoked. I think it's no use. Hey, give me a smoke. Sure, I'm all out. Whether there are uh, cigarettes, no nothing. We're in a dump. No nuts around here. Nuts. Hey, you got any more? He used up what I had. Use a butt. My luck. I have to take over the Christian Science reading room. Hey, Pop, you got your day's mix. This ain't Sunday. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. I lost my spot. Now I got to start over. In the beginning, hey, God created the. Now we see through what are you doing around here for excitement? I'm going to sit around and read the Bible. Now I know I'm Hello, I'm I'm back here. to sit around and read the Bible. Oh. What are you doing for laughs? You know. I got a copy of the Talmud. Oh, a guy like about. you, all those muscles. You firm <laughs> pectorals. Hey, you make out with all those cute little hayseeds oh, around here, huh? Why did you go to all those dances? You wear your big medals, huh? You're being very inconsiderate what right now. How about you, baby? How about you, baby? You go for his muscles, huh? No, I'm more of a butt girl. Sure you do. All dames got a weakness for muscles. Mm. I said he was your type. You didn't go for out. Maybe you go for him. He's respected. He's got an upbringing. Mm. He's even got an education. It's a pity you didn't have any. That's where you're wrong, sunshine. I went to DeVry. The education I need is right here. To kill innocent people? To kill or be killed? Like an animal. Yeah, like an animal. Mm. Mm. I don't beg for bones anymore. I get kibbles and bits in my bowl. Yeah, I got plenty of education. <laughs> when I was young, when it counted. No. Good thing it was, too. Made me see things the way they are. Chocolate. You don't look out for yourself. Nobody else does. You're sick. And you're twisted. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick of hanging around here. That's what I'm sick of. Yeah, I'm going to tell these guys about it, too. A guy like me needs a lot of room. No reason we can't all get along, being we're stuck with each other for a while. How much longer are you going to stay? Long enough. Tonight on Cryptic Hoodlum. Honey, can it, please? Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. Uh-oh. And he that speaketh shall be a barbarian. Uh, Mike, this me. is Thanksgiving, right? So, yeah. So how does Squanto figure into all of this? Oh, he's coming, I think. Okay. Seek that ye may excel to the edifying... Were you Henry Rollins? Wherefore, let him that speaketh... Yes, alone. now you can dance to the Bible. I'm a police officer, not a judge, Mr. Coberly. All I do is enforce the law. Yeah. She had nothing to do with any murder. She couldn't have. Not Jane. I know how you feel. But we're not equipped to take civilians on a hunt, Mr. Coberly. But that's just it. You'll hunt her down. Don't you see why you've got to let me go along with you, Chief? I knew we're sent. to let me help her. I understand. A Golden Hitler Award. We simply can't take the responsibility of letting you come along. 
Oh, you don't understand. Nobody likes me. Once before, I made a mistake by not helping her. She wouldn't be in this trouble if it hadn't been for that. All right, I'll prove your love. All right, all right. May cost me my job. But you're worth it. I'm sending a couple of men into Antelope Valley in about ten minutes. That's where your daughter and the hoodlums were spotted last. You can go along, if it'll make you feel any better. Thanks, Chief. There, now I'm a pirate. Arg. Pretty jazzy, huh? Pretty do 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 Bob. How can you even be interested in clothes when there's a manhunt on for you? Yeah. Manhunt. I enjoy my sleaziness. Mm. You're wasting your time if you're playing him against Mike. That all that's worrying you? You'll get him killed. He's got an odd can. You're dirt, Terry. He'd never touch you. Don't you call me dirt. I'm more like topsoil. Okay. Well. I'll show you how dirt operates on a respectable guy. Oh, for fun, a science experiment. I'm worried about our house guests. <laughs> Were those potato chips she put on the top of that casserole? Yeah, try that one. And Moses tied his ass under the tree and walked Jim. ten miles. Don't you do read the backs of my cards? You're not on all cylinders. Tied his ass to the tree. Why don't you get some sleep? <laughs> about that. Cylinders? What does that mean? Go on, I'll keep an eye on things. I need a smoke. <laughs> Oh, boy, hot flash. What? Want some? Ah. Oh, you want to be alone, I suppose. Well, I'm not very good at these situations. I'm awkward. Go ahead. Oh, pretty up. Like you're going someplace, huh? Quit it. Hey, hero. How do you like her in your pants? Well, I don't... Mom! Well, I like her fine. Oh, uh, you like her fine. I'd like to kiss her. <laughs> the cows are going to have to be milked. They'll spoil otherwise. All right. Get moving. Uh, uh I'll take them. Mm. What's the matter with you? What's I love cows. I said, I'll take them. Be my guest. Put our magic to the test. <laughs> oh, the disposal. <laughs> Let's get in the chair. Come on. Is dinner ready yet, Mom? Or... Stay with the dad. Where do you think you're going? Get a doctor. Forget it. You're the doctor, Miss Florence Nightingale. Go on, go on, go on. Snap her out of it. I'll be all right. Uh, the whole idea of her and your pants, son. Uh, no. What made me do that? Come on, Mom. We'll get you in the bedroom. We got an old defibrillator in the garage. Ah! Back to the Bible, Gramps. Tell me more about the crocodiles and that tiny ass to the tree thing. What got into you before? You know what's got into me. Munster cheese. I don't like anyone giving my girly eye. Now try that on Mother. Wow. Well, Pop, you don't have to watch. Kind of want to, if that's okay. <laughs> that was silly of me. Yeah, that heart attack was downright stupid. I never faded before. I like it. Don't talk at all, Mrs. Gray. Close your eyes, please. Wait a minute. I smell pumpkin pie. Mom, remember when you lost all your under things? I took them. No, man. No, man. I can't take it any longer. Somebody's waiting for you to try. Please don't take any chances, Ben. They're desperate. I know he wouldn't hesitate to kill you. I am desperate, and I wouldn't hesitate to kill you. Go ahead. Give it to him. Come on, hero. Mike, please. I said take it, hero. You miss, I kill your old lady on the spot. You know what now? Go on, you want to brain me. What's there to brain? Take it. Lay off, Mike. Oh, no. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to bust his face in like he wants to well, bust whatever. mine. whatever. Look, we don't want any blasting of us. We... Oh, awkward. You want the cops to hear the shot? 
put it down, then. Uh, should I be reading the Bible or not, or... No, I'll just stand here, then. Oh, hmm. Can't we just have a normal Thanksgiving where we drink and don't talk to each other? Whew. Long day, huh? Oh, yeah, you said it. Mm. Yeah, I'm disappointed in you, hero. Glad this movie's not in 3D, man. Would you do white metals <laughs> in a pawn shop? Yeah. You read it? It's a Holstein on wheels. Uh, what say we drive over to the Amish farm and show them our buttons? <laughs> 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 Oh, there I see a good parking spot. Wait, wait, there we go. Ah. Why don't they look? Tell me, why don't they look? Somebody drove a car for you. <laughs> nice muffiny hats there, huh? Now, will you look at that, the other half of the Black Dahlia. Now, let's keep going. That's an odd deer stand. Check the oil, Dave. Take this down, Smith. W-6495. Uh-huh. Six, three, one. Uh-huh. Bingo. 41 Ford Coke Black. Call that in, get a make on it. Well, feel free to dig through the evidence. I gave it to her for her birthday last month. Uh, well, this is a break, all right. It was great with my uniform. It must be around here someplace. Well, I wouldn't be too hopeful, Mr. Cobley. Yeah, she's probably dead. Might have had a buddy pick him up. Come on. Glad I can make you feel better. <sighs> the car was reported stolen the day of the killing in Los Angeles. Uh, we found positive identification. Let's check some of the farms around here. Uh, by the way, that's a really cute purse, Bernie. Shut up. Sir, I'm going to ask you to uh, make the siren sound with your mouth. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve... What's God it saying there by getting the smoke, Pop? Well, I'll Let's check Ezekiel. Hey! Hey! What she shall eat. Or what she shall drink. How about a miracle, Pop? You don't have any much say in pack butts. It's it's kind of wasting a miracle. Mm -hmm. Behold the fowls of the what other vices you got, so Pop? No, Jerry Garcia. Well, I'm talking to you. Hey. I don't understand. Where do you get out all that stuff? I get peace of mind. And it cleans the oven. What do you want to do, live forever? Light up the sky with your uh, name? Did you ever stop to think that the longer you live, the more you got to worry about dying? Mm -hmm. It's a fact. Now, you die soon. You don't worry so much. You lost me, son. Mike, quick. The coin is as high as an elephant's eye. Relax. They'll never fit through the trellis. <laughs> car full of cops just turned into the place. I gotta really act hey. now. Hero, Hero, come on. Get outside. Get in that cellar. Well, I've got some Let canning to do away. anyway. Honey, I'm gonna be in the bedroom. If anything goes wrong up here, you know what to do. Tip off the cops, you know, who gets it. Oh, great. He's on his second pass through the Bible. Now, don't forget to bring along that cute purse, Bernie. <laughs> Shut up, Earl. Dad! What are you trying to do? Dave! You're choking her. I'm going to stunt like that, and I'm going to finish the job. Well, he's goal-oriented. That's nice. Crosby, Stills, and Hutch. <laughs> Howdy, gentlemen. Hello there. I'm Sergeant Connors. This is Officer Smith, Mr. Cobley. I'm not a hostage. My name's Tom Grant. What can I do for you? Well, uh, you haven't seen some kids around here answering this description, have you? Oh, hey, she's hot. Uh, no, no, no. No. I've been hearing and reading a lot about them, though. Uh, they haven't been here, though. Uh, keep in mind how nervous I, I am, though. A short ways from here might be they're still in the neighborhood. They're not in the basement. No. You'll let us know if you run into anything suspicious, huh? Yeah, sure will. Oh, uh, uh, I'd like to use your phone, if I may. I'll have to ask the hoodlums. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, certainly, Sergeant. Uh, right there behind the door. Okay. Well, you look through the barn and the other buildings. Why don't you go along with him, Mr. Cobley? You might recognize something we'd miss, huh? In other words, bug off. Uh, there it is. 
you. Don't you have a touch-tone crank phone? Hello? Uh, give me state police headquarters. Uh, Michigan, two, three... Mm -hmm. nine... Getting the role of Curly in Oklahoma was a big triumph for me because that was the first time... The uh, news commentator said those kids got through the dragnet. Said they were probably in Mexico by now. Yeah, don't yeah. you got to plow something? Could be anywhere. But we'll find them. Yes? Sergeant Connors on the phone, calling from Antelope Valley. Well, well, thank you, disembodied voice. Hmm. Hello, Connors. Well, we found the car they used to get away. And a ditch, 30 miles from Lancaster. Uh -huh, on a country road. Take me home. Yep. To the place uh -huh. I belong. Uh -huh. Positive identification. Mountain Good Mama. work. I'll put it on the teletype immediately. Any idea what happened after they left the car? Well, we're checking around, but it's pretty much spread out up here. They're definitely oh, not in the next guess. room. Well, a couple of bloodhounds could pick up a trail from the wrecked car and save us a lot of guesswork. No, yes, no, sir. we won't search the rest uh, of the well, house. We'll no. work the farms around here to bring the dogs up. I like Wade. He's just not a dancer. Tomorrow morning? Around 7. Right. Well, thanks very much. <coughs> Next room. Those hounds will find out if Next they're still room. around. That wasn't long distance, was it? Something Next. down there? I, uh, oh, no. Uh, Next room. Just preserves. Uh, Next room. Uh, I went down to pick up a couple of jars for my wife and forgot to turn Hey, the that's me. Oh. Next room. Okay, well, keep your eyes open. Yeah, well, how about you, you trained professional? Uh, just, a, hey, I escaped. Woohoo. I really need those pants. Tension, tension. You better not be blowing the whistle on us. Your hand smells like nickels. Witness protection? Okay. New identity? Oh, sounds good. Bye. Hey, you can kill him now. I sang like a bird. I want some of those preserves now. You've been holding out on me. Come on, come on, come on, get up. Okay, 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 I'm up. Did you hear him? Yeah, I heard the whole bit. We bring dogs down here, we're dead. But da 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 What were you gabbing about out there? I told you I wouldn't do anything to hurt my wife. Oh, you're right, I forgot about that. But da 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 We gotta get out of here right away. How? What are we use for money? Well, they must have some. Penny Addy, we have to wait for Al. Yeah, we wait for the house to lead him back here. Ooh. How do you know Al even got the letter? Let's mm. find out. Mm. Let Hanson get him on the phone. Ah, oh, you crazy. It's a party line. We have to take the chance. Uh, do you need me for this discussion? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Go on. Get on that phone. Request girl from Ipanema. Call Normandy. 30099 in L.A. How do I say when I get an answer? Yeah, I'll tell you what to say. Yeah. Make out like it's a social call. You're calling your pal. Then call L.L. Bean and order me an anorak. Hello, Ruth. Get me normally 30099 in Los Angeles. Oh, the hoodlum. Okay. Glad you made it home for the holiday. Nice weather, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sure is. There's a dance tomorrow night if you're not doing anything. Uh, no, no, Ruth. Thanks, I won't have time. I will not be ignored, Ben. Hold, please. Rack focus. Thank you. <laughs> this is Jim Rockford. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Jimmy, this is Angel. I'm in real bad trouble. Servo? Keep trying until you get it, will you, Ruth? All right, then. Thanks. I still say we ought to get out now. We can use the Hero Station Wagon. And I say we wait for hours. We need all the insurance we can get. We got insurance. We got the Hero and the Old Lady. He even knows all the shortcuts around here. Don't you, Hero? So he knows the shortcuts, but what good is that? Where do we hole up? That's something Al's got all figured out. Well, if we get Al on the phone, we don't have to take a chance. Al sounds like a real sharp cookie. We still got until morning. Boy, she makes my pants look good. Nice hinder, son. Thanks, Dad. I mean the girl. Oh. Stop staring at me, you phone. The guy's not even sexual enough to be a femme. Mm -hmm. bum, bum, bum. God, I gotta read the Bible, just a page. Ah! <laughs> There's that sound again. Leave our house, what do you want? Oh, Answer the phone or the curtain gets it. Hello, it's probably for me. 
Yes, Hello? this is Citibank calling. Thanks. Hello? Hello? You know what to say? Go ahead and say it. Hello? This is Ben. Hello? Ben, Hello? did you get my letter? Hello? Letter? No one sends me letters. I can get no Jerry letter. Lewis. Who is this, anyhow? I sent you a letter inviting you up for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. Hello. But we Hello. couldn't wait for you to get it. Your Hello. blind date's anxious to see you. So I'm phoning you instead, and we're expecting you tonight. Hello? Blind date? Oh, the teenage crime Sh wave. Sure, Ben, sure. Hey, uh, give me that address again, will you? Just to make sure I got it right. Hello? It's the Post Road, Antelope Valley. Lancaster County. East Jesus, Missouri. Follow Route 24, straight after the farm. The name's Grant. Thomas Grant. What is it's a white you house with, the, with so? a red barn right off the road. You know, there's a wooden fat guy bending over, tending the garden. You might be able to do a little business at the same time. Pops low on chicken feed. Chicken feed? I'm out of my depth. I don't mess with chicken feed. Yeah, 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 sure. I'll, I'll come up right from work. I think I just ordered some magazines. Then did Lisha curse him in the name of the Lord. Then two she bears come out of the woods and slain thirty six of the children. Then Elisha walked. Nah, ahead. I tried to play go fish by yourself. What's keeping him so long? He'll be here. We've got until seven tomorrow morning. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. I thought I'd see how my wife is. Well, you think again. Jack off. <laughs> You mind if I go inside with her? And after all, I'm completely ineffective. Ah, you go <laughs> ahead. As long as Pop is right where my gun can see him. Now that I'm Christian Slater. <laughs> so, how's everything going in here? <laughs> 101 pounds, huh? How are you feeling? Oh, you're breaking my wrists. I have to be getting back to college, Mom. Big test tomorrow. Oh, and thanks for the great Thanksgiving. A hundred and one pounds of fun. Do, 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 hi. Can I go shopping with you sometime? Don't cry, Jane. Just keep it inside. Learn how to hide your feelings. There's so much hanging over me, Ben. So much I can't shake off. You've got to hang on, Jane. You made me see the sense of it before. Now's the time, son. Make your move. Nightmare. You can't get away from it. The single set for the last hour. Um, can I touch your butt? No, that's that's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyhow, people are brought together when time is running out. What are you saying? Are you a sorceress like all the other women? Only a few hours. Gee, men always know what to say, huh? I've <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, get out. There's a car coming. You stay. Cause it's really so fun. Cause it's really so fun. When you have super fun eating tasty mints, you can challenge mores. You can bend silly rules. You're rebelling in an unthreatening way. You're really blonde, and it's true. People look up to you when you eat mints. Whenever the hell you want to, youth is better in every situation. Youth is better. Oh. Is stupid. Youth is better, so eat mistos and live a super long fun life. Mistos. <laughs> Who is it? It's Bill Salisbury, a neighbor of ours. He invented the steak. Anybody else with him? No. Get rid of him. Remember, Mama Hero. Ben. Don't. Salisbury's going to press to see the seed catalog. Oh, uh, hello, Bill. Come in. Howdy, Tom. Ben. Oh, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. Hey, toss up a couple of plates. You've taken off a little weight, haven't you? Yeah. Glad to see you got back for the holidays. Say, you'll be showing the whole valley how to grow giant crops before long. I aim to, Bill. Hostage. Sure. Pasta? Hostage. Hostage. Sausage? She's lying down. She's still not feeling well. 
Oh, too bad. I'll look in and say hello. She's I'll sleeping. go put her down. Oh? Say, I'm thinking of going hunting tomorrow morning, and I was hoping you'd check it over. I'm having trouble with a shell ejector. You are most dangerous, Seeing as how friend. Ben's the expert at these things, I didn't think he'd mind. Well, what makes you think Ben's an expert at those things? Handle enough of them in the war, didn't he? Ah, he was pushing pencils in Albuquerque. It's time you got a new one with all the trouble this one's given you. Uh, mind if I sit down? I, uh, oh, no, sure, uh, mm -hmm. if you want to. The uh, police come knocking at your door a while back. You want to get high? Yes, they did. Figure maybe them kids are around here somewhere. We better leave that. Maybe in I can piece. injure myself and draw them out. How about it, Ben? Find the trouble yet? Uh, ben is a farmer, not a gunsmith. Oh, too bad. I was hoping he'd know what to do. Yeah, that was an empty dream. Well, thanks anyway. I guess I'll be getting along. And I hope that that gun has better aim than I do tomorrow. <laughs> Say, Tom, maybe next time I go, you can manage to come along, too. <laughs> Holy cow, did you have Rod Serling over for dinner? Used to be a pretty good shot, as I recollect. You people live like pigs. Yep, I've seen the time when you brought home some mighty good venison. Yeah. That's you forget something, Bill? Put it on fast, bud. Do what he says, Bill. Give me your cigarettes. I'm kind of trouble, Tom. Had a feeling after the phone call yesterday. You'd be... Mike Denton, wouldn't you? I said put that gun down. Somewhere oh. a deer is smiling. <laughs> yeah. Keep covered. Get back in there. Must have been really easy to be a war hero back then. Hmm. There. Uh. 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 Still covered. Ooh, the crotches of Madison County. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Still covered. I gotta do everything around here. Take your hostage, drag the corpses. Jeez. Still got you covered. Ah. Oh, they're gonna put them up. Wonder how he'll pickle. Oh, I should have visited the Johnsons. Oh. Oh. Fool. You didn't have to kill him. We could have kept him here until Al came. Look. I don't like you talking like that. Oh, I don't like this guy anymore. He's crossed the line. I'm sick of you. I still got you covered. You're yellow and you're stupid and you're trigger happy. Let's get married. You got us into this and now you can't think straight to get us out. Look, I was your man when I sprung you. Don't you forget it. I thought you were somebody. But you're only somebody when you got a gun in your hand. Hello, premise of the movie. Look, all I want to do is wait quietly for Al to come and get out of here. That's the smart way. Holidays are always so stressful. All right, all right. Wait. Yeah. It's about time. Oh, God. Anybody tell you you could take a walk? You want to eat, don't you? The cows are in there. You're going to eat a cow? Besides, you've got my mug. I wouldn't walk far. Oh, come on. Snap it up. But you can't imagine what this feels like. Ooh, kind of an anemic cow. Skin milk. Oh, the farmer and the cowboy should be friends. I haven't had a chance to talk to you alone. All right, go ahead, talk. Mm -hmm. Come on, I'm making butter over here. Watch this. When they're this full, you just poke them. Like in the war. I read about it once in the papers. Both sides laid down their arms for a night. It was Christmas. They even played records to one another across the field. Snoopy and the Red Baron became friends for just one night. Enjoy my tummy. It's a holiday now. Oh, no. <laughs> You're gonna have to get in line. There's a couple of cows ahead of you. No truce, huh? Mrs. Hoodlum, can I just do my chores? You know something? I was all grown up before I saw a barn or a cow or a hayloft. She making a double Nintendo. You really hate me, don't you? While you're threatening to kill my mother, that throws cold water on my lust. What kind of an answer do you expect? Something with savage farm boy in it. I don't know. Guess maybe I got the wrong message, huh? I don't recall sending a message, Captain. Too bad. Some other time you could have felt differently about me. I'm too sexy for my pants. Well, <laughs> it didn't work out that way. Well, I'll go slap the hogs now. But in my league, People take what they want. 
Working on a sex farm. Oh. Thought it was a truce. Ooh. Here's the one you wanted, sucker. I'm a war hero, and I call your dad. Come on, throw it over here. Please. You were really playing me for a chump, weren't you? We're making soft serve. Come on. Over that home cooking line too. I'm bad. I should be spanked with an open Get hand. Get moving, farmer boy. I've wasted enough time on you. Oh no! Don't no! Stay! No milk us! Oh boy! It's a little early yet. They'll have the dogs up any minute. Yep. Any time. Dogs. Car coming. Yep. Whoop. It'll be the dogs. Yeah. Stop them. We'll look them over. See if they got any dogs. Yeah, it should be the dogs. Yep. Come on over, baby. Hold on. Huh? Hiddly, hiddly, ho, you guys. Hey, what can I diddly do for you? Is there anything wrong, officer? Oh, that Where jacket. Are you this is the third time I've been stopped. I'm going to be late for all my calls. Damn. The fellow's got to make a living, officer. You sell feed? It came with a car. There it is. Now can I go? God. Open your trunk. Oh. Trunk? God. What for? Just open it, that's all. Well, I guess I just okay. woke up in communist yeah. Russia. I'll get right to that trunk, comrade. Oh. Oh. Very intimate shootout here. Oh, that stung. Oh, ow. ow. That was a gun. That was a cow. What if it was the cops? <laughs> no. Maybe they got out. We're not going to wait to find out. You and Bright Eyes get your lady out here. Well, this thing's giving shot. Oh, careful, careful. Might be full of rotting gym shorts. Ooh. You have to shoot him right in the face, Ted. Hey, he came at me with his face. I panicked. Hey, did you see the undercover feed salesman? Go. Oh. Come on, come on. Well, now it's officially a wave. That sounded like it came from the grant place. Oh, oh, that loosened me up. Oh, gee. Oh. Coach Landry, you need anything? This has been the best ride along ever. The best part is we just leave him lying there. No paperwork. Woo -hoo -hoo! And we are going to have fun this time. Going down there? Turn right for town. As you, I'd find some out of the way road to take. Because if we don't make it, you don't look you good. You don't make it. This is it. This is it. This is life. No, don't tell them. Help a pop. Eighty K to control. Young FDR. Eighty K to control. Hey, maybe there's someone up here you can shoot in the face, Ted. Look, lay off. <laughs> Must milk cows. Mm. Mm. They've gone. Which way? To the right, to the Los Angeles Highway. They took my wife and son with them. You better get them to a hospital, Mr. Coble. Hey, my finger fits right in your wound here. Jeez, didn't milk the cow four days. Milk Start everywhere. The station wagon, leaving the highway. Turned off on Victory, heading for town. Get out of general alert. There's a car tailing them now, sir. There are innocent people in that car. Repeat the order not to fire on them. How do you like my mustache? Keep the car under close surveillance and wait for a break. Thank God we have radar. And keep in touch. Call every once in a while. Pass them. that information on to Connors. Oh, huh. looks like the cast of Grease missed the activity bus. <laughs> There's a prowl car up ahead. So what? Uh, they're all over the city. Yeah. Hmm. Really good job finding that out-of-the-way road. <laughs> Apparently, Grandma doesn't want to go to the home. Oh, I just... Ah, forgot to change my cab. Sorry, everybody. I told you not to head back to the city. You told me. The only chance we had of getting lost. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Turn left to the right. Hmm? Shall I use the directional? <laughs> Turkey will be so dry, it'll be like eating a boot. Oh. Put your shoes on, Grandma. We're almost at your house. Hmm? Oh, I need Ambersol. Well, certainly is a nice day for a high-speed old car chase, huh? Mm -hmm. Seen it. Kirby has escaped. You know, I could drive better if you, you didn't have that gun on me. I could relax a little, you know. Hmm. Come on, I want to see Bob Hope's house. Now step on it. Da -da -da -da. 
in that parking lot up there on top. Maybe we can lose the cops in the crowd. Come on. Watch out for Chris Penn and Robert Downey. Bram Stoker's car 54. 80K out. They're headed for the observatory. You're going to shoot this guy in the face, too? Don't you just... Go towards the light, Bob. Toward the lights. Whoa. What are we on a tilt a whirl? Oh. 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 oh my. <laughs> it's the Roddy McDowell monument. Oh. Most Thanksgiving. Go on, boy, take the other road. Oh. We had two for tickets. Wow, yeah, let's go to a remote, out of the way spot and blend in with people who aren't there. <laughs> Oh, I hate people who park like that. No, oh, I broke a heel. You'll never even live to be old, Terry. Somewhere, someplace, in some lonely corner, they'll find you out and kill you. Remember when I said that earlier? Run new. Hey, I could get you into college. I could help you get a Pell Grant. The Jiffy Pop Mosque. <laughs> hey, I'm dead. Oh, no. You can get college credit for life experience. You're earning a degree right now. Oh, right in the uh, shoulder. Yeah. Oh, door, you want a taste, too? Wait for it. Oh, society didn't give me enough bullets. <laughs> ah, luckily, I took a class in observatory maintenance. <laughs> I, too, took a class in observatory maintenance. Best out. <laughs> Mitchell! Take it, Ben missed the hand-to-hand -hand lessons. <laughs> hey, they're on the inside of a Judy Chicago major installation. Hey, great view. Oh, that's my tetanus arm! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a slinky guy. Oh, now, this is how the Hubble got screwed up. Mm. Well, this is my stop. <clears throat> Outside, the police corps marathon passes by. <laughs> stop on my bite, ten, will you? Uh oh, something to see here. And all cops take a course in observatory maintenance. You turn on the AC while you're at it. Oh, he ate a Snickers bar. I, I wanted it spinning. <laughs> Baby. Oh, honey, come on. Talk about it. Just give me one good crack at her. Let me watch her die. I want to make faces as she writhes in pain. So you made it after all. Rotten hell, Tyler. Hey, cop. Little Eva never figured in any of this. Hey, that's not fair. I helped a little. We just took her along for the, for the ride. Oh, uh, don't mean to rush you, ma'am. Uh, this death going to take long, Thanksgiving and all. And we... <laughs> I'm dying in your son's <laughs> pants. Nobody ever cried for me before. Argentina. Uh, I think she's got more lines, ma'am. Should I work the mouth? Look to this day, graduate, as you plunder the world. <laughs> oh, go ahead, let it out. Have a teenage cry wave. <laughs> Wow, now there's an upbeat ending for you, huh? Yeah.
Zingo does not justify the means. Wow, bro. That movie posed so many difficult questions, yet at the same time left so many things unanswered. Yeah, yep, yep. So, letters? Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, isn't it Tom's turn to get them? Mail call, mail call. <laughs> oh, brother. Robot, crow thee. Yeah? You didn't get squat, crow. My guess is you skew lousy with women and young men. But we'll put together some focus groups and ferret that out for Servo, you. Servo, can we just have the mail, please? Keep your flight suit on, Nelson. And just what kind of a name is Nelson, anyway? You're not Russian by any chance, are you, comrade? <laughs> Give me those things. <laughs> All right, this first one is from, uh, oh, from Jim Pratt. Mm, could eat no and uh, why don't you put that up? Put that up on the still store there. They the Thank, you. Thank you. Jim Pratt. Okay, and Jim writes, Dear Mike, Crow, Servo, and the rest of the MST3K crew, those of us who just finished watching the Brain That Wouldn't Die experiment here at the New Hampshire State Prison all feel that Mike Nelson has potential. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. That's very nice. Nelson, you got the prison book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it doesn't surprise me. You know, your situations are similar. Yeah. Although, I imagine it's a little worse up here. Oh, you know, yeah. no visitations, mm -hmm. food's lousy, yeah. everything you know and love is thousands of miles away. Yep. Oh, but, but, but you got us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Isn't there another letter? I hope yes, so. there is another letter. <laughs> this one is from uh, Valerie Kiriakopoulos. And uh, I have uh, an idea that maybe you could read this one, Tom. Read well, this little okay, part right then here. I just will then. Welcome, Mike. I'm glad you're on the SOL. You'll definitely have your hands full up there. <laughs> but just remember, even though those bots have been up there longer, you're bigger than them. Mm. <laughs> ah, ah, just keep that in mind when it. Ah! Well, you're bigger than some of us, Mike. <laughs> yeah, just remember, Mike, if push came to shove, I could take you. Wow. Well, that's all from our end. Back down to you, subterranean doughy guys. That's right, I'm Doughy Man. I control the world's supply of dairy products. Steak is my ally. Butter does my bidding. Sour cream bows down before me in total abject terror. Onion rings quake at my very breath. Don't, not this time. <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh. 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 TV's Frank. See me. Dr. Forrester. Hmm, I wonder what's going on. To go.
be on the other side. This has been a presentation from Comedy.